Tujikaze, tujikaze, tujikaze. You are listening to African Father in America podcast by Simon Javano Kelo live from Seattle, Washington, USA. Uh, welcome all. Thank you for joining me for another beautiful session of the Daily African Proverbs. Uh, we do this every single day, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are live streaming on YouTube and we are also uh, live here on Clubhouse. Uh, whenever we gather here for the Daily African Proverbs, uh, you know, we dissect an African proverb each day with the hopes of gaining African wisdom by the end of the conversation. So thank you again for being here with us. We have an amazing proverb today from Ethiopia. And, uh, you know, I'm going to share the proverb in a moment. Uh, and I also want to suggest that you go to my Instagram page. Uh, this proverb is my latest Instagram post. And there are a number of, uh, you know, people in our little village that are already engaging with this proverb over there there are also many people who attend this room who are not able to join us today so that's a good spot to engage with uh, people who attend this room regularly but i want to encourage you to you know join us on stage at 6 30 a.m we will turn off hand raising uh, join us on stage we will give you a chance to also share your interpretation of today's uh, proverb the proverb says the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns you know we've we have re I've seen a number of uh, actually interpretations uh, from uh, some of the amazing people that normally attend this room so I want to maybe read a couple before um, before I share my own interpretation. Uh, the Kikombe, who is uh, a very good uh, contributor to this space, he's based in Thailand, but he's, uh, he's a Kenyan. He, he says, when you are bigger than obstacles that might be mountains to others, but tiny little pebbles to you, you march on majestically. That's what the Kikombe has shared with us here. And... Uh, you know, I'll read others in a moment. First, I want to, you know, just thank you, Marlin and Faline and Tara and Mag and Javelin and Bunmi for being here. Uh, when I looked at this proverb, um, you know, it reminded me uh, of how much perseverance is required um, whenever, whenever we are on our journey of whether it's whether it's even as small as creating this room, you know, it's, it might seem like, you know, running something as little as this room consistently every day since January is, uh, is something, to me, I feel like it's, uh, it's been a lot of work. And, um, you know, a lot of the time, it's 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 not easy. It almost feels like you know there are there are certain thorns that I have to be working on, but I can't limp because I know that I'm on a I'm on a mission. I'm on a long term mission. So uh, the the you know the fact that I have to wake up sometime at four a.m. to be able to do this room consistently, like today, is one of those thorns that I feel like sometime I have to. Uh, not limp uh, when I'm working on this type of thorns because I know that you know the victory is going to be sweeter so that's part of my interpretation for today's proverb but typically whenever I come here in the daily African proverbs I learn so much and uh, I'll continue sharing and engaging uh, and learning but uh, I want to create space for Jacob to briefly share with us his interpretation of this proverb um the, the proverb says the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns this is a, this is an ethiopian proverb and um you know I'm, I'm going to introduce jacob here real quick uh jacob uyugi is you know a consistent contributor to the daily african proverbs he's in nairobi kenya he's a uh, is a creative, is a filmmaker, 
and uh, you know I want to pass you the microphone so that you can share with us what your interpretation of the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns is. Uh, but before that, I really want to quickly give a shout out to my brother Raphael who has joined us on YouTube. Uh, Raphael is the host of the White Label American podcast and uh, he's in Germany at the moment. Uh, he's a brother from Nigeria based in Brooklyn and now in Germany. Uh, so thank you again, Raphael, for your continued support. Jacob, go ahead and share with us your interpretation of today's proverb. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Simon. Thank you so much. Um, it's yet another day, another time for, you know, to, to share um, knowledge and uh, get to learn from other people. Uh, this is an amazing proverb. And when I, when I read this proverb, all I see, all that came to my mind um, is courage. Um, the courage that we need in our lives. Uh, and uh, the very moment I read it, there's one saying that uh, came came through my mind, a saying that uh, came from Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou say that courage is the most important of all the virtues because without courage, you can't practice any other virtue consistently. And um, I really, I really relate to, I really relate to this. Uh, proverb because um, you know um, when you look at the elephant um, it's it's the hugest it's the hugest um, animal in the in the animal kingdom in the jungle but then again uh, when we see the elephant we really feel it's uh, it's easier uh, for the elephant you know to to walk majestically uh, we don't know its struggles yeah, I, as much as it's 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 uh, walking on thorns, we do we do not understand the struggles that you know um, the elephant goes through. Uh, same to human beings, we look at each other, but we never know the kind of struggles that we as human beings go go through. But then again, um, we need to keep going, just like the elephant, because your hardest times often often lead to the greatest moments of your life. Uh, you need to keep going because uh, tough situations don't last and uh, tough situations build strong people in the very end. And uh, just like the elephant, um, we, we never, we never, we should never underestimate its pain in any way. You as the elephant in the room, you as, you know, that strong person uh, who's, who's trying to work hard to achieve something, uh, you might be going through a lot of pain, you might be going through a lot of uh, you know, backlash uh, from the society because they don't understand what you're going through. Uh, but deep down, you know your pains and you have to keep going. So for me, um, that is my interpretation. And uh, what I have to say is never lose hope. And uh, storms make people stronger and they never last forever. Wow, thank you very much, uh, Jacob, for sharing with us uh, your interpretation and ending with a really powerful statement that, you know, uh, storms make people stronger and they don't last forever. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to welcome everybody, you know, uh, who has joined us for today's Daily African Proverbs. If you are on Clubhouse, I want to encourage you to follow the club, African Father in America Club. Uh, that's the name of my podcast. And also, if you are on YouTube, I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel and, uh, you know, like and push the bell button so that next time we have this Daily African Proverbs live stream, you are amongst the first people to be notified. This is a really important space that we've been cultivating since January. And uh, even though we are focusing on making our ancestors smile one proverb at a time, uh, we are also um, building a community across the world. And uh, I want to encourage you to join us on stage if you're on Clubhouse so that we can also hear your interpretation the way we had Jacob's interpretation. And uh, once you share, we are also going to move you back uh, to the audience. That's for Clubhouse. And then uh, on YouTube, stay tuned. Tomorrow we have uh, Marga Mbade. He's a, he's a Congolese a Spanish artist uh, who is really, really amazing. We are hosting her 
on YouTube tomorrow and um, she's not on Clubhouse but she just released an EP and uh, I'll be interviewing her so stay tuned for that but also we've been joined by my brother Evnia uh, who is going to help me you know co-moderate this conversation today uh, again Jacob thank you so much and I want to go ahead and introduce Marlin uh, Marlin I hope you're doing well uh, Marlin uh, says that she's wildly passionate in all things that bring that bring her joy the more uh, she lives the less she knows uh, she loves to grow bloom and bloom and bloom Hey Marlin, share with us your interpretation of this proverb from Ethiopia that says um, the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brother Simon. I love you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I love you. Um, my name is Marlin and um, uh, the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns. Um, two things came up for me. Um, one is that I am an elephant now. And um, before I was like, what I feel like the opposite, the princess and the pea that just came up for me. Like anything bothered me. I was highly irritable. Um, everything was, it was about me. Um, even though I wasn't worthy of anything I felt. So now that I'm an elephant, um, I feel that I'm unbreakable and unshakable. My spirit is that way. Um, and, and, and that comes with a lot of, a lot of trauma and a lot of healing because I'm over, uh, um, I'm almost six years sober. And so I have a spiritual program and also um, loved ones and um, connections and guides in person and also on, um, on here on Clubhouse now as of May when I've been on here, I find a lot of um, love and value and um, I cherish, I cherish you, Simon and Evener and everybody that supports. Um, when I, when I come into these rooms, because um, Africa is our motherland, and there's so much wisdom, you know, there's so much wisdom that I find, and this is one of my favorite, favorite rooms and clubs. Um, I want to continue to walk that path, you know, of, of, because if something, if if things like thorns don't bother me and that and that comes in every sense of the word you know people that i meet people that i talk to at work um i i help them without taking anything personally you know because that that could be easy to do for someone else and if i'm able to exude that light then then things won't bother me and it comes naturally now authentically and and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful. So um, thank you for this proverb and thank you for having this room, Simon. Hello, brother. I appreciate How are you? you. Um, have a beautiful day, everybody. Uh, thank you so much, Marlon. Uh, I also appreciate you and, uh, you know, thank you for being vulnerable with us and sh just sharing, uh, you know, in depth your interpretation of today's proverb. Uh, welcome everyone who is just joining us for the Daily African Proverbs. We do this uh, show every single day uh, and we live stream it on YouTube. You. And uh, today we have a special guest. Evnia is a contributor to the Daily African Proverbs. Consistently for the last month he's been you know, showing up and recently we were able to uh, you know, just go a little deeper. Uh, learn about him uh, and we were able to read excerpts from his book. This is something we do uh, with a number of amazing authors including uh, Faline who is uh, in the, in the, on stage. Uh, Faline is also an amazing poet uh, from Belize. So um, Ivna you know, is going to be giving away some, uh, a few copies of his book today. Uh, he's going to you know, introduce himself in a moment as well. Uh, but I want to thank you again, uh, Marlon and uh, Jacob. Thank you. I'm going to move you both on uh, to the audience real quick, and then I'm going to introduce um, Faline. Uh, but I want to invite Digital here on stage as well. 
uh, we have an amazing community of people in the audience i actually want to encourage you all who are on clubhouse to join us on stage i have to explain to people on youtube what clubhouse is uh you know from time to time so forgive me for repeating the same thing over and over but it's just important that we sync the communication between these two platforms now uh, i want to introduce faleen uh Keitano. and faleen is really really an amazing you know uh human and uh she's a garifuna belizean librarian author and mother and screen writer director uh, you know, we were privileged uh, not too long ago to host uh, Faleen in the African Wisdom Club where we, we, you know, read excerpts from her book as well and, you know, just learned a little bit about her. Faleen, share with us how you're doing and also share with us your interpretation of today's proverb from Ethiopia that says, the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns. Thank you so much, Faleen. Greetings, Simon and uh, fellow attendees, <laughs> you know, folks who are here this morning and who are here uh, every other morning, however people flow in and out of the room or through YouTube. I saw this proverb and it is so fitting for my circumstances right now. I Today is my birthday. So I'm reflecting, I'm doing a lot of reflecting and, and what I am walking away with and moving into is that I have a philosophy of peace. And that philosophy of peace is about having inner peace and managing what happens around me, the way I respond to whatever thorns may come. And so the the proverb, yeah, you know, I, I saw it through that lens of, of peace, that here's the elephant walking and not you know, the, the hashtag unbothered, you know, walking with grace. And I am holding on to that. It's something that I have done at times well, and other times I have not been that elephant. I have been, you know, tiptoeing and dancing and letting everybody know, hey, they're thorns, they're thorns. And I, this is a great reminder. So thank you so much for this. And I, my interpretation again is about is about peace, walking with grace and letting what comes flow. Let it, let it it's happening. Accept it and then walk through it, not let it walk through you. Fill in here and I'm done speaking. Wow. Thank you. Walk through it and don't let it walk through you. <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way, Faleen. Uh, uh, I don't know. I just want to bring you back on stage here for a moment so that, uh, you know, and I, if you have time, I want to moderate you so that uh, later on in the program, you know, we can just engage in a little bit of poetry. Maybe you could read for us one of your, like one of your pieces that you would read on your birthday. Uh, so think about that or any other piece that you want to share with us. But, uh, you know, I want us to celebrate you just a little bit. It's not every day that it's Faleen's birthday and not everybody knows how amazing you are. So I just want you to stay right here. And I want to welcome everybody else who just joined us uh, on Clubhouse. And also I want to thank everybody else who uh, is here with us on YouTube uh, I want to quickly introduce uh, my brother Ivnea Durosu, who is uh, live here with me on uh, YouTube and also is here with us on Clubhouse. Uh, Ivnea is really a generous man and I want him to just share with us quickly about his book and also what he is planning to do today. Thank you, Brother Simon. It's always an honor to be with you and share this space with all the wonderful fathers and mothers and sisters and cousins and uncles of Africa. <laughs> My name is Ivna Duraso, and I am the author of A Light Regardless, which is a book that I wrote to challenge the norm of division presenting humankind. And today is your chance to get a free audio book of this wonderful book that I wrote. All you have to do is send me a DM 
on Instagram or in the back channel of the clubhouse. As you can see, I am the guy with the black suit uh, on the clubhouse. I'm not looking at the, the screen right now because I'm on YouTube. But if you would like to get a free audiobook, I will send you a coupon. Just DM me and I will make sure that I get that to you. This is a gift from me to the fathers and mothers and sisters of Africa. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ivna. You, could you speak to your book a little? Because there are a number of people who don't know, uh, you know, who have not met you before and they don't know about Alike Regardless. So just speak to it a, a, just briefly and then share with us your interpretation of today's proverb. Yes, yes, I can. So this book is about the divide. It's about the divide that we as human beings have created and is that same divide that that is hurting all of us and there are several motives of of that divide when we look at the way we live in our world with we have hate and hatred and and bigotry and selfishness uh, jealousy envy these are all the things that we have going on and plus we have racial divide and a social economic divide so i wrote this book to challenge the norm of division present in humankind we are all born equal therefore we're all created equal and what makes us wonder why do we grow up to convince ourselves that we're not equal this is where this book comes in to take us back as human beings to our default settings, to see the next person as an equal, regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation, social class, any of these descriptions that you look at, when you look at a human being, you look at them as this, as that. This is where this book comes in. And, and I always like to share this quote from Albert Einstein. It says, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we use when we created them. So in order for us to, to move beyond to a better world, we must think and see things differently. We must be willing to change the way we think, must be willing to change our thoughts, our worldview of ourselves and of other people. So this is the book in a nutshell. I'm not going to give it to you now, but you can have it on audio book today if you send me a DM. And I will share my interpretation of today's proverb. The elephant does not limp when walking on thorns. And I had to take some time to think about this because I have not seen an elephant before uh, live. But I know that it's a giant animal. What I see about this is self-belief self-belief and this proverb tells me that we should believe in ourselves we should believe in ourselves because if you don't believe in yourself it's going to be very difficult for you to achieve whatever you want to achieve in your life whatever you believe in Whatever desire you have, you must be willing to execute that, that belief. If you believe it, it sure will come to pass. Nothing beats self-belief. When, when it comes to succeeding, if you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you won't. And that is the foundation of all endeavors, anything that you want to do in life, you must first believe that you can achieve it. In other words, you are the first, the first to create your success. It starts with your belief in yourself. Believe in yourself and the universe will follow you. I forgot who said that. But it says, 
believing yourself and your and the universe will believe in you so it is important for you to exercise self-belief self-love so that you can achieve your goals and dreams and aspiration thank you brother simon for allowing me to share i yield the mic to you thank you thank you so much uh wow yeah what i took away from what you shared is uh believe in yourself you know because if you don't believe in yourself it will be very hard for you to achieve anything in life yeah that's really true that's a beautiful reminder for me as well uh so you're saying that the elephant needs to believe in itself and even if the thorns are under its feet it just needs to keep walking is that right keep Keep walking. Keep walking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't give up in the midway. Don't give up in midway because you just never know when it comes to success. Even if you don't see it, it doesn't mean that it's not there. Just keep pushing. Keep working at your craft, and you will succeed. Don't give up. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, Well, I want to take that uh you know and and just let it sink in for everybody uh and welcome everyone to the Daily African Proverbs here in the African Father in America club. Please remember to follow the club and also if you're watching this on YouTube, please remember to subscribe to the channel and uh also leave us your comment. We are having a really amazing chat here. We've been joined by Rafael who is in Germany. uh and uh our brother Ivnea who is here in the US Ivnea is going to share with us a little more where he's located but he's from Haiti and Ivnea I also wanted to talk to you just a little bit more about Haiti today so that you can share with us what's going on at the moment uh considering some of the recent uh events that have been happening there uh so think about that uh but I also want to say thank you to Bon who is from Kisumu my hometown who has joined us uh on YouTube as well is a young uh and promising creative I just love it when you know young people f- uh, who are from the same neighborhood where I grew up are also you know paying attention to things like clubhouse and trying them and and being engaged so uh, thank you so much Ramsey Bon Uh now I want to introduce uh Wanda. Wanda, thank you so much for being here. Uh thank you for your continued support. Uh Wanda says that she's on a quest for knowledge. And I would love for you Wanda to share with us your interpretation of today's proverb from Ethiopia that says the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns. Thank you very much. Good morning. I also had to think about this a while and uh, but I thought about what are the characteristics of an elephant and first of all I thought how majestic they are uh I haven't seen an elephant up close but I've seen them at the circus you know how they've been trained and you know when they shake their head you know it's so majestic and the main thing that we know about an elephant yes they're the huge a uh, huge animal you know and they're uh they have tough skin So I thought about that as like you said earlier about believing in yourself I thought about self confidence and in the midst of uh trial trials or whatever you're going through something a hard space you got to keep 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 that uh not so much of a mask but since people look at big things as you know to be afraid of they shouldn't show fear elephants are aggressive you know and they're um they look they watch you know they're cognize, cognizant of their surroundings so basically a person as an elephant usually they're leaders right <laughs> one of the first things you might see in a parade is the big elephant so th- they're leaders of the pack so as a leader when you're walking through something you don't limp you don't show your weakness because if you show your weakness the people will quit following you so you just keep it moving in the midst of your trials <laughs> keep a a stern face you know keep going on be that majestic person that you are thank you 
Wow, Wanda, thank you so much. This is really, uh, the way you speak about it reminds me of parenting as well. You know, as parents, our, ki- our children have no idea how you pay the bills. They expect the food to be there. They expect the lights to be on. They expect everything to be normal um, because parents are elephants and they have to walk on thorns and uh, don't limp. So thank you again, Wanda, for a beautiful interpretation. Uh, I want to now um, introduce Brother. Uh, Brother has been uh, a regular attendee of the Daily African Proverbs. And uh, Brother Earth says, All praises to the Most High. Freedom over reparations. Brother, share with us uh, your interpretation of this proverb from Ethiopia that says, uh, The elephant does not limp when walking on thorns. Thank you very much. Peace and love, family. This is Brother Earth, man. And uh, I'd like to say gratitude for this uh, grand opportunity. It's always a beautiful uh, environment and beautiful energy in the room when I attend. And um, what i say, my interpretation is uh, for the proverb is um, right now in the world, a lot of times um, or how we've been conditioned in the world, we think we are uh, the physical body. But when in actuality, we are the spirit. And once we come into the understanding of our spiritual nature and the divinity within us, that's when we are the elephant. And the thorns are the things of the carnal manifest that uh, a, a, a lot of people are affected by. You know, they don't got the best car. They don't have the newest iPhone. The people at the job talking about them, the naysayers. All these things are the thorns that you are a, a slow of uh, our people up living if they operating from their corner nature. But once we understand our divine nature as gods, then we can walk through those things untrammeled. I come in love and I leave in peace, Brother Earth. Wow, thank you so much, Brother Arth. I'm so grateful uh, for your, you know, wonderful uh, words of wisdom. Uh, I completely agree. I completely agree. Uh, I want to actually now invite uh, Faline. Faline, if you're there, just share with us, you know, your thoughts so far about uh, the conversation. And also, if you have a piece ready that you want to share with us, feel free to just take space. Thank you so much. Thank you, Simon. I definitely saw and heard the the some the, the undercurrent and very much that same effect about walking with grace and, and parenting, like you just said. Uh, this morning, I had a situation and my son was just like, okay, Ma, you, you're, this is fine. You know, all that is happening, you know, it, it's it's fine because uh, we have plans, but we might have to shift those plans based on what came up. And it is always that your children, you know, look to you and see how you are managing your experiences to then uh, let their emotions come and go, whatever that might be, but they look to you. And so thank you for making that analogy because it is so, so true and and it's so timely. Um, the most recent poem I've written is the one I want to share. And it is it is for a friend. She was going through a situation and it has to do with love. And so this one is called Last Mango. Her love languages are coconut water, quality time, and consideration. Consideration is making plans with her not just for her. It's the checking in after you've checked into a flight or foreign hotel. It's the effort to pull the last mango at the right state of rightness. It's the level of observation that comes when you love someone. Someone you want to have in your life for more years than time. Eternal moments, mostly in harmony. harmony. Sometimes agreeing to disagree peacefully like two people who have learned each other, studied each other, and agreed to speak any language it takes to convey deep love. 
that's the end of the poem. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Even uh, I see you nodding your head, so I want to I want to give you a, a second to respond and then I'm going to introduce Mag and Digital. Yeah, it that poem, thank you so much for reciting this poem. It actually reached me deeply and I see that it took you a lot of deep thinking to write something like that. It it reaches the soul. So with words like this, you you can reach people deeply. And this is why I wrote this book. And when you look at some of the things that you just mentioned, these are the things that we need because the work starts with us. And with, with us first, we have to look around us, look inside of us for us to do the things that we need to do to to make this world better. So thank you so much for sharing. So that's why I was nodding. I was like digesting the content of the of her poem. It was so it was so well written. Thank, thank you, you. Simon. Of course, of course. Thank you so much. Uh and Faline, thank you for being here. Uh by the way, for everybody else left on who is on stage with us, feel free to uh, say something nice to Faline as she's celebrating her birthday today and she's, uh, you know, a wonderful poet, a mother, a librarian, uh, you know, and, and just a leader that I have a lot of love and respect for. So uh, I just want to, you know, give her a lot of flowers and I need your help to do that. Uh, to everyone who is just joining uh, the Daily African Proverbs, this is a show that happens here on Clubhouse every single day at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, that's 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. East Africa Time. And uh, you can convert it to other time zones. But this is a really important space. And whenever we are gathered here, I believe that we are making our ancestors smile and we are making them proud. You know, if my mother was to wake up today uh, and find that we are discussing African proverbs every day, she would really laugh. She would find it, find it funny, but she would also tell me to carry on because, you know, she values uh, wisdom and she used these proverbs a lot, uh, you know, in, in, in helping me become who I am today. So I want to thank you for joining us here on Clubhouse to make this happen and also thank you to everyone who is on YouTube uh, that is... Uh, joining us in the chat. Uh, thank you, Raphael. Thank you, Ramsey. And thank you, Ivne. I'm, I'm really, really grateful. Now I want to introduce uh, Mag Ture. And Mag is a mother, you know, lover, sister, friend, dreamer, and a fashion enthusiast uh, who is into food and wine and travel and is here to listen, grow, and network. Mag, thank you so much. I think you are the first person in this room today. Uh, I'm just so grateful that you're here with us. Share with us your interpretation of the proverb from Ethiopia that says, um, even uh, I, have to, I have to read it, the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Simon, for inviting me to the space. I appreciate it. Um, Again, I'm part of a Haitian proverb um, group. We meet at 12.30, but when I saw your group yesterday and I joined, so I was just very pleased and very, um, really happy with the proverbs that you share. And when I saw the post this morning, I was like, wow, this resonates with, you know, really my life right now. So um, what it means to me, um, the elephant represents strength. Right. Um, elephant does not limp when walking on thorns because it knows it's bigger than the thorns. To me, it means not to worry about hurting when walking on thorns, when life presents you with the struggle and pains that you are bigger than your struggle, that it does not matter what you're going through. Because at the end of the day, if you don't focus, you will not stumble. The thorns are tempor temporary that you will just, you know, continue to walk through, stay focused and you will not fail. So that's what I got out of the Proverbs. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm just so grateful. I'm, I'm grateful for your presence and I'm grateful for your share that we should not worry about the thorns that life presents us because we are much bigger than those thorns. 
uh, thanks a lot i hope to see you tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that uh, and to everyone who is joining us uh, we turn off hand raising at 6 30 a.m pacific standard time uh, so join us tomorrow if you want to be on stage on clubhouse uh, but also right after this room we are going to have an instagram recap of this conversation and uh you know we, it's a 15 minute recap where we go over you know what stood out what was surprising and also what was the biggest lesson learned from today's uh, daily african proverbs session but as we speak we are live streaming and evenia who is right next to me on stage is on youtube as well uh, you know, we are looking for African authors, innovators, and uh, people are doing groundbreaking things. This is a platform for you, and it's every day, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we want to hear your stories. We want to grow this community, but the pillar is the Proverbs, and that's because we are on a mission to protect and preserve, you know, these beautiful Proverbs and uh, our, our beautiful African culture. And someone who has been doing a lot of this work uh, in Kenya and around the world is, uh, you know, digital humanitarians. You know, Philip. Philip is uh, an amazing brother from Kenya. He says that you cannot sing African music in proper English. My brother, share with us your interpretation of today's proverb. Okay, uh, digital. This is Simon speaking. Yeah, you have your sound. I, I think you're a little far from your microphone. Do you need a minute? Is it clear now? Oh, it's much better. Thank you so much. Uh, Simon, like, like I was saying earlier, every time I join this uh, this African uh, daily African proverbs, I, I get lost in thought. Um, and today's proverb is is quite profound and. Uh, Seeing uh, the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns. It's our ancestors were telling us that uh, the deno we don't know what the pains they actually went through to actually see the freedom we're actually enjoying today. Uh, they never bragged about the pain. They never spoke about it. They actually carried and shouldered that pain, and so that we may enjoy the fruits today. And when, when when you look at the elephant here, for me the elephant signifies uh, a leader. The elephant signifies uh, uh, like what you said earlier, parents like. Um, and, uh, and in modern days right now, um, an, an elephant is probably a celebrity. An, an ele elephant probably is, is a president, is a leader, you know, is a, is, is a parent. We do not know what... And, uh, and, uh, and uh, if you look at uh, probably uh, in this digital age, when you see people smiling, when you see people smiling on social media, we don't know the kind of pain they're actually going through. And... Um, I think uh, it's this proverb tells us that uh, we may be going through stuff, but at times we we need to be the bigger bigger voice in the house. We we need to be the adults in the room, and we need to set set values and examples to our young ones, uh, where we can teach them to to to, to actually uh, without going on social media and actually amplifying them, that we can discuss bigger issues soberly without actually uh, uh, revealing the, the the underbelly of. Or, of our, of our African, and, and, and for me, it goes back to Africa. Um, when you look at Africa, Africa here is the elephant in the room. Okay? So we, we should not be our nation to the world. We can show our resilience. We can show our, our, our cultures. We can show our, our hope, our diversity, without showing the world that uh, we, we are actually in pain. Africa can actually tell its story through the, the resilience. For me, I think this probably is actually very, very powerful actually to tell us that uh, no matter what pain you're going through, uh, you can always uh, 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 actually not not talk through the pain, but you can actually so soldier on and actually set a limit to the. Uh, uh. Oh, Philip, I have to tell you that you should join us for the Instagram recap because I'm sure you said amazing things there, but we missed a lot of it. Uh, your your microphone was on and off so if at all you're going to be available for the instagram live i would love for you to be there if you can't just let me know towards the end of the room i'm going to give you space so that you can share 
because I didn't catch most of it, but I, I deeply, deeply appreciate the work you do. And uh, also, Philip is currently helping us with, you know, uh, pushing the this conversation on Twitter. You know, uh, we are live tweeting together. You know, I've been doing the live tweeting for a while myself, and Philip is a Twitter giant, and so he's, uh, he's, he's helping us. Uh, you know, grow this conversation over there. He's also holding a number of amazing rooms uh, here on Clubhouse and also he has Twitter spaces, but he's, uh, he's a well-known person. He's won the Presidential Award in Kenya for the work he has been doing through, you know, activism and using his phone as, uh, you know, to do amazing things. Uh, he's, he's like a fast responder. Uh, Situation is like a first responder if you compare him to the US when there are terrorist attacks, he's one of the first people on the scene. When there, there's famine, when there's conflicts going on, he's always one of the first people on the scene. So uh, he's currently, you know, healing. He's here in the US just taking time off uh, and healing, and uh, it's just great that uh, you're here. So thank you. And now I want to introduce Lexi Malone who was our, our guest really recently, the day before yesterday. And Lexi is just a very, very gifted leader. And, uh, you know, she's a voiceover artist. Uh, and uh, she chooses love, you know. She chooses love and she smiles all the time. And even when she's listening, she's, she's smiling. <laughs> I hosted her recently and we, we, she was my guest on YouTube the way Evna is. And I have to tell you, she was smiling all the time and I had to smile all the time too because she's just so infectious by how she is. Uh, Lexi, the mic is yours. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I just want to tell everybody in this room, I'm loving this energy. I love everyone in this room. But I just have to say this to my girl, Feline. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Okay, guys, I just had to sing that to her in my CV Wonder. I just love that's our happy birthday song. We sing that every year to everyone on their birthday. So I had to give that up for Feline. And I'm getting over uh, COVID, so my voice sounds a little crazy. But anyway, good morning, everyone. I love you all. Uh, I just want to give my... Um, opinion on the proverb this morning as soon as I clicked on and seen what it was on Instagram I was like wow time to always coming with something so I instantly immediately thought the same thing as Wanda Wanda I was agreeing with you girl that's why I was just like shaking my head like yes Wanda so and even digital what digital just said was actually like right along with what I was feeling about it but the first thing I thought of when I seen it was what Wanda said. I looked at the characteristics of a, of an elephant and I said, elephants are really big. I said, but people are really big too. So when an elephant step on a dorm, even though I know they're like much bigger than we are, they're going to crush it. But the other thing that I th thought of, just like Wanda said, is they're, they're thick skin. They got thick skin, real thick skin. So even though we're way bigger than a thorn, if we step on a thorn, our skin is soft. It's, 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 way more you know thin way thinner than elephant skin so it dawned on me and I'm like oh my gosh this actually reminded me of one of the four agreements don't take anything personal because the elephant skin is so thick it doesn't take personal the sharpness of the thorn it doesn't take it personal because it can't even feel it it's like out of here it doesn't even realize it's even happening because when you, and that four agreement, if you guys haven't ever heard of the book, The Four Agreements, it's by Don Miguel Ruiz. I love it. The four agreements, 
actually are. The first agreement is to be impeccable with your word. The second agreement is don't take anything personal. The third agreement, don't make assumptions. The fourth agreement is always to do your best. That is a, like literally what I live by. I love that book. I love it so much. I read it 11 times. I read it literally in a couple hours. I'm a fast reader. I can read a book in a couple hours and that book, I've read it 11 times. So with that being said, the second agreement, which is don't take anything personal. What I want to say is, is when you don't, and what I understood from the book, The Four Agreements, is when you don't take anything personally, what he's saying in that book is, Dami Govro is a really guy, I love this guy. He says, um, when you're not taking things personally, that just means that someone else could be giving you thorns someone in your life that you love or respect or whatever the case may be, they may just be having a bad day. And immediately, sometimes people immediately take things personally and jump to the heat, right, with the person. And then what does that result in? An argument. But if you're always not taking anything personally, you won't ever have to like get angry or, you know, feel like you have to, you know, feel bad or victimize yourself or anything like that because, what other people do, they're not doing it on purpose to you. It's not like it's something that they're doing to hurt you intentionally. And even when people are trying to hurt you intentionally, if you don't take it personally, it doesn't work. It has no power over you. So that's what I love about the today's proverb. And it like literally is giving me chills because I'm just like, wow, it really spoke to me about just don't take anything personally because when the skin's so thick, it's not even taken personal that the thorns are pointy. It doesn't even matter. It, it's like, as a matter of fact, elephants don't even know that thorns are pointy. They can't feel them. They're not taking it personal. They don't even take personal the sharpness. And that's what it is. Is to me, that's what I got out of it. I was like, wow, don't take anything personal because especially the sharp pointy things in life because if we were to step on a thorn it's a completely different thing and really if you think about it that's how we live our lives we to almost like literally take everything personal it's like oh somebody say something you don't like oh I don't like that person you didn't took it personal why why don't you like that person you didn't even have to take personally what they said they may not have been saying it to you about you it's all about them really I'm Lexi and I'm Al. That's all I had to say about that. <laughs> oh, Lexi. Well, thank you. Thank you for how you shared and also how you left us to think about it for a moment. <laughs> uh, you know, it's true. It's true that we should we should not um, we should not take personally, especially the hardest things in life, you know. Uh, even however hard they are, if we take it personally, that's when it drains our energy the most. So I can totally relate to what you're saying. Uh, I do want to welcome everyone who has joined us for the Daily African Proverbs. Uh, we are heading towards the tail end of our conversation here. Uh, I, I just want to quickly, quickly give a shout out to a few people here. Roger, Tara, uh, Queen. Uh, Sarah, Stephanie, I see you all. Thank you all for being here. And I see Yemi and Nangula and Nadine and Hamid. Thank you all for being here with us. Uh, in about six or so minutes, uh, you know, is you know that's 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and that's when we are typically ending this conversation. But of course, we are going to you know hear from everybody on stage. And then right after that, we are going to go on Instagram for about 10 to 15 minutes to do a quick recap with uh, Philip, Digital Humanitarian, who is in the audience. So join us over there for that. Now I want to introduce Bibi. Bibi uh, is a regular contributor to the Daily African Proverbs. And uh, Bibi, uh, also Beatrice Wiley, that's her full name, is really, really an amazing, uh, you know, a uh, human, amazing mom, amazing speaker, amazing athlete. And she says, I choose pain over numbness any day. Ask me why. 
Bibi, please uh, share with us your interpretation of today's proverb. The elephant does not limp when walking on thorns. This is a proverb from Ethiopia. I hope you're doing well. The mic is yours, Bibi. Thank you so much, Simon. And you chose the, the right uh, proverbs, or let me say the right um, saying, and also my my personal quote for today, because um, today is actually my ninth month anniversary since um, I had the accident. But before I go into that, let me just wish uh, Feline a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Feline. And that uh, poem that you read, it was very beautiful. And for, the, for that last mango, I hope uh she finds or he finds i'll just say a she because uh the mango has a seed so i'll say it's a female anyways um i hope uh she's thriving and she receives everything that she ever wants and wishes for so happy birthday by the way so back to my interpretation, um, I would say I choose pain over numbness any day. And today I'll tell you um, a little bit difference between pain and numbness. And that'll be my interpretation. And the reason why I say that is because um, numbness, you pretty much tend to to hide the pain and pretty much ignore it like it doesn't exist and you go on living while um, embracing the pain and living with it, not necessarily having to cry all day, but accepting the pain and embracing it and accepting it as part of you. So two things about pain, especially with the kind of pain I went through and it had, it was a wound well, mostly internal and external wound. One thing about wound is um, it may develop pus. And if you don't feel the pain, like if you numb yourself, you won't know that that wound has a pus. And the pus will keep developing and developing until it, it gets bigger and in turns, it may develop into something else, which will be worse. But when you do know that you have the pain and you're feeling the pain, embracing it and listening to the pain, you will know that the pain you're feeling is a little bit different and you'll know that something is different. And when when you notice that, the doctors can go in there and look into it and find out what's going on. And then if they find out that it's developed pus, they can cut it open and get it out. And then you'll be able to breathe again. And instead of not feeling the pain and ignoring it and it developing into a bigger problem, you'll end up uh, eliminating the problem. And just like the elephant, the elephant um, developed a thicker skin, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't feel pain when it's inflicted with pain. It still feels pain. However, it learned to embrace the pain and be one with pain. So that thorn doesn't bother it because it knows that it's not a big deal to it. So just like the elephant, um, I learned to embrace my pain and let it teach me and let it heal me at the same time. And this pain has caused me a lot of pain, but it has also taught me a lot of things. And as we continue with this um, daily proverbs, I'll continuously share uh, bits and bits of my accident with you guys um, because it's, it's a journey. And I feel like there are some people that, um, experience pain, but they don't really know how to share their pain or really how to talk about it. And I just feel called to to share the pain, to give hope to others, because we all have 
pain and different kinds of pains that we all experience. But some of us um, know how to let it out and embrace it. So with that, I am complete. And thank you so much for listening. Oh, thank you so much, uh, baby. You know, your your story is really, really powerful. And I've told a few people your story in real life, you know. Uh, and I want you to continue sharing your story. Uh, and, you know, just know that, you know, you're, you're doing amazing work and you're inspiring many people. My brother Tutaleni, I want to now, you know, introduce you. Tutaleni Asino is a, a researcher, designer and educator. Uh, he, he has a, a beautiful quote here from Franz Fanon that says, In the world through which I travel, I am endlessly creating myself. Brother Tutaleni is also the founder of Namibia House here on Clubhouse, uh, where excellent uh, programming is is done and i urge you to check it out brother Tutaleni, share with us your interpretation of this beautiful proverb from ethiopia that says the elephant does not limp when walking on thorns the mic is yours brother simon thank you so much as always for curating this place for making us making this space available for us to reflect um uh, every day on on this um powerful proverbs and giving us an opportunity to communicate with the ancestors. Uh, Philin, happy, happy, happy birthday. I will not torment your ears with my singing. Um, so I will just say happy birthday. Um, I'm so happy to have gone after Vivi because um, I really love the interpretation that you gave and it, it, it aligns uh, with my thinking. Um, one of the things that is may be misunderstood about elephants is that um, they are actually some of the most sensitive animals. The skin of an elephant is very sensitive. Um, it can feel a fly when it lands on it, and it can feel um, different weather elements. This is why they end up moving out of extreme weather before the weather even arrives. So I'm not so sure that uh, elephants can't feel even though they have very thick skin they are that skin is very very sensitive at least from what we know about the anatomy of the of the elephants so my interpretation um and aligns with with what uh baby was describing especially going through her accident it's not that you don't feel the wounds it's not that the horns don't uh, the thorns don't hurt is that you have to you find a way to keep moving despite what else is happening uh, it's that you focus on your destination, either by choice or without having a choice, um, to keep moving despite the many thorns um, that are in your path. You're not letting little um, some of the things distract you. Um, it also really reminded me of um, of Maya Angelou's poem, uh, Still I Rise, because in it she really talks about despite what else is facing you in life, um, you still rise, you still keep going. Um, and I think that for me is, is a takeaway from this uh, proverb that the elephant doesn't let the, um, uh, uh, the thorns uh, stop it. Um, it doesn't limp when walking on thorns. Uh, we see that especially in our parents, our mothers are some of the best example of this. You never, most of us never know the challenges that our mothers are facing. Um, they keep moving, they don't limp. Uh, they're an example of us and most of what we remember is usually uh, happiness, smile and laughter. But sometimes they are stepping on so many thorns and some of that is for our own behalf. So I really like this program. Thank you for uh, Simon for providing it uh, for us to reflect on. I'm Tudor Lenny, I'm done speaking. Uh, thank you so much, uh, my brother Tutaleni, for you know your wonderful words of wisdom, uh, and also for sharing with us that you know, focus on your destination by choice or no choice, despite the challenges. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to introduce now Jay. Jay Ware is uh, you know an amazing co-creator of the Daily African Proverbs. She's one of our moderators. 
and uh, she says that the world is thirsty for kindness happiness integrity truthfulness and love be a rejuvenating and refreshing cold glass of water jay is also based in seattle like myself she is a playwright she is a poet she is a spoken word artist and a creator of a club just for children jay share with us your interpretation of this amazing ethiopian proverb thanks a lot thank you so much brother you're so appreciated <laughs> i think my interpretation was just take it so there's very very little that i need to say i do want to say happy birthday to feline and not just happy birthday i hope you have a beautiful day and that it's filled with so much love and that you feel genuinely cared for and appreciated I guess there's just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit that I can add. And that is that when it comes to mothers, and that's exactly where I was going, is that mothers have, for the most part, there's a strength in them. Once you become a parent, all of a sudden you can walk on thorns for your babies. And you don't even know what your, I'll say parents, but for the most part, it's just like football players. I mean, they yell out, hi, mom. So a lot of athletes yell out, hi, mom. So I'm just going to focus on the mothers in the home is that there is a strength in those mothers that you don't realize not only that you have, that they have when it comes to watching over and protecting and caring for their babies and making sure that they provide for their babies. There are times that mothers have gone hungry and you don't even know that they've gone hungry to make sure you ate, that they did without to make sure that you have, that they went the second mile to make sure that you could keep going. So um, this is what that proverb meant to me because I think of elephants as regal as strong, as powerful. And I agree, there is a sensitivity there without a doubt, but a lot of times you don't see it. But when something happens to one of their babies, an elephant will cry, but an elephant will keep going in order to preserve the rest of their tribe. They will stay strong for the rest of that tribe, even if they're hurting and walking on thorns to make sure that that tribe and that family remains safe, remains viable for the next generation. Thank you so much, um, all my brothers and sisters in this room. And I wish everyone an absolutely blessed day and that you receive strength from the African proverb room. And this is Jay and I finished speaking. Wow, Jay, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Uh, we are going to wrap this room up uh, right now because uh, we, you know, we want to jump into the Instagram recap uh, session. But quickly, quickly, uh, you know, even adjust your closing comments and then Faleen, close us out, uh, you know, with, with, with just your, 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 what you're going to do to enjoy your birthday today. <laughs> I know Belize is beautiful, so anything you do over there is probably, you know, just wonderful. But uh, just know that, you know, we love and appreciate you and um you know just wish you all the all the best uh in all your endeavors and just keep soldiering on keep doing everything you're doing and uh you know let me know if there's anything i can do to support you happy birthday even now i can't sing i was gonna sing the stevie wonder version but you know I don't have a voice. <laughs> Anyways, happy birthday, my friend. I wanted to, to just recap on this again. This is a very, very powerful proverb about the elephant. And as I spoke earlier about success, and you have to push forward 
even when times are hard. This is where believing in yourself comes from. If you don't believe in yourself, you won't be able to, to push forward. And I wanted to share with you a few things that you can do as well when it comes to having that dream that, that you have to push forward to, re to achieve that goal. You want to first want to have a goal, then you want to act on that goal. And you got to have courage to push when times are hard. It doesn't matter what you want to do, whether it's a business that, you, that you're starting or it's a book that you want to write. I've had a book in my stomach for many years, but there are times where I'm like, you know what? This is too much. This is too much. You got to spend a lot of time writing. It's just too much. There are times that I did not feel like doing anything about it, but I kept pushing. Some of you here, you have a goal that you would like to achieve, whether it's a book, whether it's a, a taco truck, whether it's a daycare, whatever goal that you have right now, know this in your path, things are not going to be easy, especially at the beginning. But you can walk with strength, knowing that if you continue, if you persevere, that you will achieve your goal. Because the best way to predict the future, as Peter Drucker says, it, is to create it. Many of you, and most of you, if not all of you, have a dream that you are creating. But in order for you to create that dream, you first have to believe in yourself. Thank you, Simon, and thank you everyone in the audience uh, for listening, for hearing me, and thank you for the opportunity to share the space with you. My name is Yves Nair, and I'm complete. Have a good day. Hey, Evnia, before you go, uh, how can people get the free uh, audio copy of your book that you're giving away today? Yes, actually, congratulations to a few people that actually sent me a, a request on IG to get a free copy. And all you have to do is to send me a DM on Instagram saying, I want a free copy of the book. And I got a message from Marlene, Ed, and Farlene. Just, just send me, just send me a message on IG, saying I want a free copy, and I will send you that form. You fill it out, and within just, uh, I'd say within twenty four hours, you'll get it. I mean, the people who already sent me the message, they already got it while I was on the clubhouse with you, and I send it to you, and that's all you have to do. And free copy. I don't. The numbers are limited, so first come, first serve. I just wanted to to say that as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, my brother Evnia. Now, Faline, I'll pass you the mic, and also Faline, share with us where we can get copies of your books. Uh, Faline has written several uh, books. Could you just also share the titles of your books, Faline? It's your birthday, so I'll just give you a little more space. Thank you very much. Greetings. Thank you so much, Simon. Uh, thank you, Lexi, uh, Jay, B Baby. The, the community always, uh, I'm, I'm definitely overwhelmed. I got some messages as well in the back channel. Just birthday greetings and, you know, love and support. Uh, today, for me, will be a day of reflection. It is my new year. So I sit and I consider... I have been considering for the past week what my last year has been about, seeing what I want to take into the new year, how I want to contract or expand in certain areas, you know, those things I will leave behind, those things I will be more consistent about. And that is how my day is looking. I was hoping to travel to my hometown, but, it, you know, again, it may not happen, but if so tomorrow I will be near the water that I used to bathe in as a child 
And I look forward to that as much as I look forward to having my quiet time and, and reflection today. I, my, I've written two collections of poetry and I've edited and contributed to an anthology of Belizean short stories. So those are available on my website, feline.com. They're also available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, other places that sell eBooks. And uh, the first collection I has poetry from when I was 15 to 25 years old. It's called Evolution, Weaving in and Out of Consciousness While the Truth is Somewhere in the Middle. The other collection of poetry, those are from the ages of 26 to 35, and that's called Crossing Bridges. And the anthology is called Belizean Nail Soup. So it is the the poems it I kind of feel that the first collection would appeal to you if you're in that age range, but other persons who are older have said, Yes, I remember those times. So they they enjoy the poetry no less. The other ones from Crossing Bridges that appeals to to more people having that experience of adulthood and relationships and and you know parenting all of that is in there thank you so much simon for for uh bringing me back up you know you saw me wanting to go back into the audience and you're like no 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 <laughs> that's not happening <laughs> you know so thank you for seeing me for receiving me and for always holding space right here for for all of us you know you are definitely our elephant and we see you and we love you for all you do. Thank you, Feline, here, and I'm done speaking. Thank you so much, Feline. That means a lot. I'm just so grateful. And thank you all, uh, you know, you know, friends and family, everybody uh, in the audience uh, and in the room here on Clubhouse. And also thank you to everybody who joined us on YouTube. I am so grateful. Uh, remember that uh, today's conversation is going to be available immediately after the room on YouTube. My channel is Simon Javan Okelo. You can subscribe and uh, share this video. And uh, the other conversations have also been shared there already. So you can, you know, see what yesterday's conversation was like. Uh, I've been going back and listening to some of these conversations because in the course of the room, I am producing this show and hosting it so I, I really don't get all the nuggets of wisdom but later on when I'm when I'm doing shows around the house is when I listen to these conversations uh, and it's really really enriching so thank you again have a beautiful day and join us for the recap of the daily African proverbs on uh, Instagram with my brother Philip thank you and take good care of yourselves Evening, I thank you so much for being here with us today. You are listening to African Father in America podcast by Simon Javanokelo, live from Seattle, Washington, USA.